Alright, so we found that we had to do a space issue. So basically, basically, um, I'm about to give you all the full expo right now. I want to go take a shower and watch these dishes and everything, but it looks like the move is about to happen. But it's 4:30, almost 4:30, so at, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, the silver market is going to close for an hour, so that was even time to take the shower again. But basically, just to break it all down to you right now, um, the last few days I've been trading and like kind of you know put passion in the account because I like, just mess up, right? And not really knowing like what really to do in and out. A, B, C, D. So now I got the A, B, C, and D to start going through three, one, two, five, and I'm feeling like, okay, um, you're going to go to investing.com, you're going to use investing.com only. You use investing.com only, and then from there, um, you go into the 15 minute part because that's going to be your entry for the four hour, five hour run. So you're, you're really following the five hour track. You're going to follow the five hour CCI or UA or LLC or Bullbird Power or ABS. Any of those on the five hour. Because so you're really following that on the daily. And so the daily moving average is start on the investing.com is 12 red or 12 green. Once you have 12 red or 12 green on the daily, you can have it to start. You go to your five hour ABX and wait for it to switch over. You just wait to see a green light up or a green all red five hour after the daily has been pushed all red. Then you go back to your five hour ABX and wait for that to switch. Now that's your long term move. That's your way. So you save all your money for those moves. Don't go in the middle for silver. And you catch it at the very beginning and I mean you ride it all the way to the end. Uh, so from there you do that. Now in between that move, if you're going to trade in between that move, like you weren't able to catch that move and you still want to like you know, profit during that time frame, if you don't want to just wait solely for the five hour chart ABX to hit green after twelve hours and the five hour moving averages pushes into twelve moving averages on the day. So here's your second strike. Here's what I've been defining the last few days. Okay. On my Meditator, I added a bunch of CCIs. CCI 5 period, CCI 10 period, CCI 15 period, and 32 period, and 200. So I have like five different CCIs. CCI stands for commercial commodities. No, it stands for commodities channel index. So when the CCI is positive, it's going up. It's a buy, it's a green button, or a blue button. When the CCI is negative, it's going down, it's the red button. Bear, bear session, recession, bear market. So, the five hours shows you your wave. And then from there, you're uh, in between, you're going to go off your 